Hey everyone, so in today's video, I am going to be recreating a picture I seen on Miley Cyrus on TikTok. So I will put the picture here. It's not gonna be a very clear one because I literally just screenshot and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna try and do something like that. Something more glam and whatever. The skincare that I've been loving as well is the Revolution SPF 30 as well. That's, it is for, it's cruelty free, but it's also for normal to oily skin. So that's why I use that. Anna has the SPF 30 and it's cruelty free and it's vegan. So yeah, that's why I have been using this. To show you, I've used a good bit now, so I do really like it now. The only thing is when I put it on my skin, I think because it's for oily skin, um, it goes like really dry. But I kind of got over that and liked it anyways. So it's not gonna feel like, you know, when you put cream on, it's real soft and silky and you feel really moisturized. It kind of dries like, and it, it dries dry. Does that make sense? Like it's not, silky but i think when you have oily skin that's what you want to feel like i just hate when i put oil uh, products on my skin and it slides right off because i'm like my foundation is just going to like stick on that and whatever so a tip to prolong your makeup for me is putting on your skincare no matter what skin type and letting that shit do its thing like put it on go downstairs get your tea do whatever just let it sink in before you start putting on everything on your on your face like your primer foundation whatever i never really use primer i don't know why i just think your skincare is kind of like a primer if it's oil free it's doing its job whatever so anyways i got this sample beauty infinity all in one jet beauty gel so it looks like this i have never used this before so i'm excited to try it so what this claims <laughs> This claims that it's a multi-use. So it says it's a face primer um, as a clear another eye as a clear eyeshadow base, mixing liquid for pigment to convert loose powders into an eyeliner, which I always use eyeshadows for eyeliner, so I'd like to see that. And what else? Face paint, body paint, lip lipstick and more clear eyeshadow eyebrow clear eyebrow pomade. Sorry, I cannot read. Apply under your eyes before base product for a tightening effect. Don't know what that means. Apply the product onto your skin before highlighter to make the highlighter pop even more. Okay. And it just says, how will you use this product? It's vegan and not tested on animals. So again, love that. So that's what it looks like. And I actually have this that i'm going to be using on my eyes which is a pigment so i'll try that with that as well and we'll see how we get on and it says brow pomade what is that a, a clear eyebrow pomade slash gel okay anyways i'm going to use it with this as well so first i'm going to use it as onto my skin after i've moisturized and let that sink in let's see let's see oh it's just a clear gel oh look at how thick that is I'm just gonna use a little bit because there's no way I'm putting no scent. I'm gonna just pop it where I, you know, it says a primer, but it doesn't even say what skin or anything like that. So look at that spot. Sorry. Um. So I don't know if it would be good for oily skin. It's very watery, like very watery. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do then my. <laughs> crazy i'm going to do my skin so i'm going to just let that set in as well because it's very wet Ugh. look at my eyelashes they need to be done so i'm just going to go in with my makeup revolution love just do that in the center of my face my skin is starting to clear up a bit every time i get a break from that goddamn mask my skin clears up straight away and i always use obviously i not obviously i suppose but the disposable ones i never i've stopped using the other ones even though they didn't even break me out as much when i've i don't know what it is right so anyways i like to put that in the center because it's for oilier skin it's not going to it's going to keep that mostly matte and then I go around my whole perimeter on my face with the dewy finish. Does that make sense? And I don't know why I like to do it that way and it works. Real techniques and buff this right in. Start from the centre and then buffing it out to the edges of my face. 
so I have that all buffed in. I look so tired today. It's just because my minks all fell out. Not, and they're not real minks as well. They're just called mink lashes. I don't know. They're, they're default individual lashes. RCMA. You know the deal. Ooh. Set that with my Real Techniques brush. I don't know why. I just love using that. I feel like it's kind of like a beauty blender, but not because of the, the shape. Like it's flat and you can really just bounce it onto your skin and not like brush it over with a big fluffy brush. Then Fenty Beauty in Beijing Gal to give myself a nice shape. So this is why we use contours to give yourself a nice shape to your face so you don't look like a big balloon. And again, I like to lightly go above my above my above my arch, sorry, and then into my forehead and hair obviously if you have really br blonde hair don't rub it in too much otherwise you have that lovely brown stain and here's my little babe my little babe just walked in and when I mean babes I mean my little dog doggo so that's that and then go down my nose I love doing this like that okay that's very severe but we will be fixing that so don't freak out because I'm not around my down my nose my chinny chin chin just a little bit give it a nice shape now this is how I fix it well tidy it up I mean because I still want it to be there I just got my concealer so any concealer will do I'm still using that Rihanna one in shade 108 and I just put a little bit more on the lid I dusted a bit of the foundation but just want to get it a little bit more tacky and then I just go along the sides of my, no of my nose here so that it's a bit more shaped because it was kind of all over here. So we don't want the nose contour all over your face. You just want to have it going down your nose but in a neat way, okay? And then I like to pinch it here so that it doesn't look like you're behind bars. Does that make sense? So just kind of snatch it with the concealer if you kind of go overboard. I always do because I'm always doing my makeup really quick <laughs> and then on my nose like that and then there you go little snatched little nose moving on i want to because i think in this picture she has a dark well she has actually quite a, a rosy lip but um i'm gonna go in with the peachy tone because i think i want to go with reds i don't really have yeah, I'm going to go in with this, which is by Beauty Bay, shade Peachy. Get my fluffy brush and buff this into my contour. So the apple's in my cheeks and I just really like to brush it up, Jesus, nearly into my hairline. Um, like that. I love putting blush on now. It just makes it so youthful. And I also have a peachy top. So yeah. In the picture, it's like a full cut crease. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Bay and I'm gonna go in with Bare Necessities and that's gonna be my transition color. So I really am gonna focus that on the beginning of the brow where my nose starts and I am gonna go quite high with this. And then I'm really gonna buff it right out like that because it's quite a long look. Like it takes up well, I wanted to take up the majority of my eyes, so that's why I'm going in at my inner corner, eye corner, and then I'm dragging that right out. So I'm going to go like this, okay? And then just keep building that colour right up. I'm also going to smoke this colour actually under my eye. It's The picture is quite top heavy, so it's just going to be a light colour under here, nothing too harsh. So I'm going to go in with this brush, which is the smudger brush, Whip into bare necessities and then drag this under my eye. It's just going to give a slight colour and a slight softness to the look. It's not going to be harsh. So you're not going to really see this colour I'd say on camera. Because it's so light even in real life. I mean you can kind of... You can kind of connect it. I can see this off camera but when I look in the camera I can't see it at all. It's just because I have really bright lights but trust me it's there. Next colour I'm going to use is a grey. And I'm going to apply the grey with this new brush that I got. So it's called My Kit Co. And this is in the shape 
20 1.20 Pro, my precise crease brush, and I'm really excited to use this. I love getting brushes, um, even though I have loads. I've I've so many brushes. In this cute little package, I've never used it before, and you should really wash your brushes before you use them. But here we are using it with all the probably all the bad chemicals that are on it. But anyways, I love the color of the the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna go into threat. This colour right here, which is a grey, a matte grey, which is what I want. And I'm going to, oh my voice, and I'm going to start from the inner corner as well. Look at how high, sorry I'll come a bit closer, I am going above my natural crease. As you can see my eye is opened. Okay, I don't really care what goes underneath, but I'm making sure that the main line is above my eye socket. Or eye crease, whatever you want to call it. So this part just take your time because you're going to try and shape it and then once you're happy with the shape keep going over with the colours. So here I am building the colour up just a bit so that you can see sorry because it was a bit faded like so and then when you get to here because it's a full cut crease you're going to do a nice flick. So I'm going to build that colour up so that you can see. Okay, so this is the shape that we want. So you can see we went from the inner corner of the eye up to, look how high I go above my crease. And then flick. Keep doing that color until you are happy with the intensity. Oh, I love this brush. This, oh, I love, I absolutely love this brush. It just went on like a dream. So I'm going to just get Threat with the same brush I'm just gonna see and just slightly smoke it under the bottom of my lash line like so just like ever so slightly because it's quite a top heavy eye on top Um. so yeah she doesn't have a lot going on underneath so I'm happy with that now I'm going to cut the crease so this brush oh Definitely a 10 out of 10. So I will be buying more. Um, now I'm going to go in with this flat brush. I'm going to just stamp it like, oh, like that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, we can, fix, we can sort it out. Okay. Just start to carve that out. A good bit so you can cut this out. And you're wanting to go above your crease again. You're basic. You're basically just neatening up that grey eyeshadow with your white foundation or your white concealer or whatever concealer. Now me stamping it on like vagina head there. Oh, now I fixed it. And then, whew, did you see that? Okay, and then just colour your whole lid in the white. Looking very like 60s, I feel. And then, <laughs> don't mind the hair. I always say that. I hate, I just hate doing hair. Oopsies. Okay, so I'm going to go in then with that angelic pigment from the sample Beauty. And this is very loose. So like, I'm going to try use that sample beauty to help brush it on this is the first time I'm doing this with this so I'll, I'll do it at the back of my hand like this <laughs> I'm so scared because you know when you're, you're happy with what, what you've done I don't want to ruin it okay okay what am I? okay I'm just gonna grab a lump of it with my brush and mix it I don't know Okay, 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 look, looks like that. Let's get this onto my eyes and just pray. <gasps> oh, oh my God, that is so pretty. Oh, it's like, it's like, okay. Do you know what? It's like a metallic silver. So basically I've just coloured in what I've seen in white and very thinly go up here. Doo -doo. 
Okay, so we're getting there. And now what I like to do is, oh, I can use this for, uh, they say paint. So I'm just gonna do that and use my, use black paint just to test this product out. I've pumped another piece here. So yeah, I might as well just dip my brush in. We'll see how long this lasts. I'm testing it out for you. <laughs> so draw your little wing. And by little, I mean big. Okay. And I'm gonna kinda go a bit thick. Of course you could just go and use a normal black liner like everybody else. But here I am with black paint, face paint. Eyes done and with mascara, so I just wanna say freaking love this brush that made my job so much easier so I just want to say that the sample this and gel were very inexpensive I can't remember how much it cost but it was very cheap like two euro kind of kind of thing so I'm gonna go do my brows with the be perfect brow gel because I'm going to use this in it so I want to see if it works with that too so it because it does say clear eyebrow pomade so I don't know what that means. So I've laddered it up with the sample product and I'm just going to brush it through my brows like I do normally. I like to just bend the brush so that it's easier for me to get in there, you know? It's actually a lot better than the Fix Plus actually. Sticking it down, maybe it's just because I have more product. Maybe I'm not using it right. Who knows? I mean, it's my first time to be using it. Um, but yeah, no, that's good. Oh no, that really did stick quite well. Look at how stuck down that is. Because my brows are quite light, so I will fill them in a bit when that gel dries. So that's that. Um, what else do we have to do? Oh yeah, so the lips. So I don't have that colour. But I do have this. These were really inexpensive as well. They're from Mua Makeup Academy. I have here Agenda, which is this red. It's a really deep red. And I have Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Um, I don't know. Like this one's more of a wine color. Let me just see. A wine pink. And this one is straight up red. So which will I do? Just do the straight up red because I feel like it's, I don't know, goes with the look better. So here's me using Agenda with no lip liner. Ooh. The pigment is, lads, these were like 195 or something. And I think they're also cruelty free. Oh. I mean, look at that. Okay, so here we are. I just put a darker lip liner with that. So I did use Agenda and then I used my MAC Cyber because it was just too bright. <laughs> it absolutely killed me not to put a nude with this, but I do actually like it. Um, of course she was wearing this with a nice sparkly dress and I feel like the reason why they didn't probably put it with a nude, because I don't like having really dramatic eyes and a dramatic lip, but I think when you are a performer on stage or like I have always heard that they do quite dramatic makeup so that people in the back can see. So it all makes sense. Um, I just want to give you my quick thoughts. I do like this gel. I definitely like love my brow, Be Perfect Brow Soap more with this than I was when I was using the Fix Plus, the MAC Fix Plus to be specific. Specific, specific see. Um, because it wasn't laying down my hair like tight to my skin so it was kind of coming off throughout, throughout the day so I gave it a 6 out of 10 but I wasn't obviously using it with a right mixing agent so I definitely like it with that. Wouldn't use it for the face paint, it wasn't going on, I had to keep going over it, would still use water for that so that's okay and then I absolutely loved it with the pigment 
it made less fall out as well because when I put that on normally it goes absolutely everywhere so definitely recommend this with this pigment anyways the sample one so the sample brand love overall um I'm happy with my makeup so yeah this is what the I don't know who the makeup artist was for the Miley Cyrus video make a uh, music video or you know whatever the performance but this is my recreation and take with that. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. I will be doing more looks and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.